taking a drive up a road that leads to a waterfall not far from our place. And unfortunately, we can't do the walk with puppy, so we'll have to do it another day. But while we're driving back, we were looking down the valley that we live, and there's our place. Can you see it? All right, I'll zoom in. All right, it's... Ah, it's focusing on me. <laughs> it's right at the back there. So it's hard for me to point out because it's focusing on my finger. But we are, that's us there. Doo -doo. Now look at that gorgeous valley we live in. Such a beautiful area. exciting at the moment I got an order for um, my hand spun yarn and making one of my favorite cardigans so that's the first time I've had an order for my hand spun yarn so I'm pretty excited about it uh, the yarn she is wanting is from this fleece so this is called roving um, it's already been dyed and I don't know whether it's picking up the beautiful colours. Uh, this is a variety of different purples. So I am going to start the process of spinning this. It is going to be a long process because I've got to spin all that. It's a kilogram. Kilogram of floof to spin. This is merino wool. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. And then once it's spun up I, um, I wash it and then I can start uh, working it into the cardigan so what I do is I pull it apart into nice um, thinner strips and then I spin it wash it and then start making the garment so pretty excited Loof all ready to be spun. Planting time again, more things to plant. So what we've got here are pepper, mountain pepper, which is um, also known as the Tasmanian pepper or the pepper bush. And there are nine, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Two males and the rest are females. Apparently you have to have a male to help fertilize with the females. There's also um, extra blueberry, Oh, they overcharged me and I said, oh, instead of giving me a refund, I'll take a blueberry. So another blueberry to plant. And then, as our berries are doing so well, I thought I'd add to the berry haul 
this one here is called a young berry and this one here is called a logan berry this one has a very tart taste i bought it before i bought logan berries to see um red berry that looks like a cross between a raspberry and a blackberry and this one here one of the berries nearly ripe look at the size of that that is huge and yeah it looks like a ginormous um, blackberry so we'll plant that with the raspberry we were hoping to put the pepper berries or the mountain berries or the Tasmanian pepper berries whatever you want to call them mountain pepper berries, mountain pepper berries um, along this edge and all the way up the fence line um, they need to be about 2.5 meters apart obviously we won't have enough so we'll keep adding to it but in clearing the edge James found that we have concrete in the way so it's put a spanner in the works on what to do um, I'm not sure maybe start from the edge of the concrete and go down and when we've dealt with the concrete we can um, plant more along here uh, when we figure that one out hmm so there's always something to consider So you want it that close to the thinking, the fence? I'm thinking one metre. No, so it goes over the fence. The cows eat. Think what goes over the fence. Plus they've got the wire on there as well. Yeah, they've got the electric wire. They get too close, they get zapped. It's not a hard zap for the uh, cows, but it's um, a pretty nasty zap for us or um, puppy. So, yeah, Actually, it probably could kill puppy. I don't want to torture the cows either. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Here's some food and then zap them all the time. We'll measure this out. Put some pegs in. Today is planting day for our mountain berries, Tasmanian pepper berry, pepper berry, whatever you want to call it. And we have 10 bushes now. And as you can see, you have to get the two sexes. So we have the male, which has the smaller leaf, and the female with the bigger. And it's roughly three females to a male, or females to a male which is roughly what we're going to do is for me females to a male which is what the nursery said let me get a that's what this is and that's some blurb about it And we have now tidied up, well James has tidied up all along the edge. It's all cleaned up now. We now have the auger on the back of the tractor ready to dig the holes. This is the easiest way to plant, it's brilliant. And we've marked out every hole now. Hey Maggie Moo, you come to join us? Christmas Day. Now we've decided to plant them today so we can see how much they grow and of course it's going to be a lot easier for us to remember 
remember what day we planted them if we pick a certificate day. So Christmas Day, absolutely fantastic weather today. What a better thing to do than to dig some holes and plant some trees. So these trees grow about three meters high, three meters wide. Uh, so it should create a lovely long hedge along here. And that's where most of the wind comes from over there and blows across. So hopefully that'll um, block off some of the wind.
can anybody guess what this is going to be? And no, it's not Bender from Futurama, even though that's the first thing I thought of. This is going to be our post box. Watch this space. I have finished one of my garments for the markets and um, it's being Maggie tested. I put it to the side, went away, came back and um, Maggie's made a nest. So um, yeah, anybody who buys this I can confirm that uh, Maggie the schnoodle absolutely loves it. It's a good thing she doesn't shed hair. <laughs> oh, moodly bum. Our foraging efforts this morning. Oh, I love this free food stuff. 